If you have unfulfillable inventory and you've been manually shipping those back, I've got a tip for you today on how to get those automated. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. On screen here, you can see some unfulfillable inventory. It doesn't really matter how the item ends up in this condition. It could be a customer return, could be a warehouse ding. It could be that uh, some guy in the warehouse thought, hey, this looked like it's a little scuffed up. Doesn't matter. Ends up here in this section called remove unfulfillable inventory. To get to this location, you can put your cursor over inventory and then after that, click on remove unfulfillable inventory. I have had this automated for three years. I think it's a really great way to uh, manage this, especially since Amazon about a month ago switched the fee structure so that they charge the same amount to remove an item as they do to destroy it. It used to be a flat cost where it was 10 cents to remove, 50 cents to destroy. Excuse me, I got that backwards. 50 cents to remove, 10 cents to destroy. It's now the same exact cost um, and they do it weighted based on the, the size of an item. So if you've got like a, a simple wine glass like this where it's, you know, I don't know, four or five inches by four or five inches, something like that, then the cost to remove or destroy that's gonna be around 30 cents and it's the same cost whether which option you choose. So here's the tip. Instead of coming in here and manually uh, removing these, I recommend you go put your cursor over settings in the top right of Seller Central and go to Fulfillment by Amazon. Once you're there, I want you to scroll to the location where unfulfillable inventory is located and hit edit on it. That'll be in this automated unfulfillable removal section. In here, you can fill out your information. Just put your uh, weekly schedule is what I recommend. And then put your address and all that good information here. Now, you'll notice um, in the full name, what I recommend you do in parentheses, put in something like unfulfillables. If you're sending this to your house because you're a side hustler, you'll instantly know, hey, I just need to go put this in the closet and then once every couple months look through them. If you're sending this to the warehouse, it signals, you know, if you're a business and a, a corporation, it signals to the warehouse that, hey, I need to inspect this item. I might be able to put it back into stock, but I need to inspect the disposition of the item. And then once you do that, um, you might be able to ship it back into FBA, um, or maybe you have to repackage it um, or whatnot. Now, often I'll get some items that are, are not in sellable condition, but they're still usable items. Those items make for great gifts. Um, to people like who work for the company. They make for good items to give away for business partners and stuff like that where you don't ne necessarily need a perfectly shaped box to make an impression. You just send them that nice good or surprise them with it. So sometimes unfulfillables make for good um, regifting. The reason why you should remove them instead of destroy them though, again, they change the fee structure. It's the exact same cost now to destroy as it is to remove. So you should set up automated unfulfillables today and save yourself some time. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. If you need any Amazon consulting, go right over to myamazonguy.com and contact us. We can help you with everything from auditing, advertising, brand store builds, A plus content design, logistics like we did in today's video, and much more. Feel free to leave a comment on this video. If you have a question about how to do something in Seller Central, we are the premier experts on all things Seller Central, and we'll be happy to shoot a video for you. Thanks.